Curling, uh, yes. Hello. Uh, quiet today? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I wonder, so how did most, just as a, um, just as a survey, how do people find out that I am streaming at the moment? Because my, I posted it, my little, my little plan is usually post to Instagram, it'll get, um, it will get linked to Facebook that way. But, yeah, and I'll post on Twitter as well. But today, currently, like, 300 people. My post today reached 300 people compared to the first time where 17,000 people were reached. Um, and yet Facebook has the goal to say... This post is performing better than 95% of my other posts. Boost to get more likes. It's got a little flame next to it and everything. It's an engaging post. It's got a en en higher engagement rate than 95% of everything in the last 90 days. Even though only 30 people have liked it. Um, yeah, so... Um, I mean, it, it's all gonna be a... <laughs> uh, so, I mean, that's what I do, right? I'll, I'm doing it every Thursday night, so hopefully I get a, a, a audience who knows that I go on. Uh, and if, if you subscribe on Twitter, no, if you subscribe on Twitch, uh, then yeah, you'll get an email notifying when I go on. So that's good. Everyone should do that. Um... But yeah, I don't know how the face... I'm not gonna friggin' boost it. I don't understand. I mean, it sort of makes sense that oh, Facebook's giving you a... Um, they're doing a service, like you pay for advertising everywhere else, right? It's not that unreasonable. The frustrating bit is the inconsistency, right? Um, one week, like the post, that's it, like 15,000 engagement, it's whatever, it has a reach of 15,000, next week it's like, nope, nobody sees this one, I know, we'll see, but thanks to you all for coming out. We were apparently dropped 10 viewers from... <laughs> when I was on break too now, but hey, it's all good. I'm not doing it for the numbers. Friendly, I'm glad. Yeah, that's that's basically why I do it. Like, I want to be sharing my stuff. With this stuff, definitely, it's it's always, as I said earlier, a great way for me to be like actually getting stuff done, even if it's just silly stuff like this. That's true. Next R question. Book, method of thinking, tip of knowledge, helped with human anatomy. Um, I mean, it's something I still struggle with. I think everyone still struggles with it as an artist, like, forever. Um, uh, I think one of the real, like, really good things that I've done that is 
surprisingly helpful and it probably works in 3D as well. Uh, but actually doing like an anatomy or an anatomical sculpting course uh, is fantastic because you can't cheat. Um, you have to physically put in all of the pieces and the way they connect to each other. Like when you're drawing, you can sort of fudge bits. Um, and it, you just sort of get away with it sometimes because you're, you're in 3D, you need to see it from all angles, basically. And I feel like, I mean, even if you were doing it in ZBrush or something, like if you're comfortable in ZBrush, that's great. But we had a, a class with Andrew Kass, course, I remember, anatomy tools guy who's, um, who's amazing. And so part of that, part of it was like a, a lecture thing and part of it was a, a class in ZBrush. And so I'm not super familiar with it. So the anatomy part of it was great, but not being comfortable in ZBrush definitely didn't help. Um, but doing a physical sculpting course uh, allows you to, or forces you to basically um, work work everything out properly and really think about the relationships, uh, even of just like simple shapes, like shoulders and well, right, shoulders are definitely not sh simple. Yojimbe, well, you made it uh, quite a way. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, create on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, figure drawing classes are, are awesome. I don't take advantage of that as much as I should, honestly. I think ZBrush depends on what you're used to and how you get into it, what you're doing in it. Like, I think I didn't mind it. Like, I think I, if I spent a little bit more time with it, I would probably get it. It's just that I haven't had the time to sit down with it and become familiar properly. Um, so, and the times that I do are so few and far between that every time I basically get onto it, I'm sort of relearning the the basic things that um that i learned the last time and not not having an opportunity to like expand upon the steps that Hmm. Poco Penko, eh? Sounds, yeah.
Can you guys actually hear the music at the moment? Just out of curiosity. Uh, Super Scopey? Yeah. Amazing. Um, I didn't do it enough. I have some sitting around. Uh, I want to get back into it. It's just... Not... Finding the time for anything. Somewhat can't hear it at all. It's probably... So that's... If you guys can't even hear it, then I just shouldn't have it on at all, probably. Do you mind? I'm just gonna turn it off. Well, it's supposed to be at a 4 out of 10 because it's not supposed to be competing with my voice. Um, does it matter? Like, does it? Do you guys have music on of your own? Should I just turn it off completely? Because I can still listen to it. And it would help with, like, YouTube and Twitch, like, archiving. I'll keep it on. Like, I'm not talking all the time. Alright, I think that's about where it was. Angel Chic, hello. Watching instead of the new Captain America movie. Well, that's quite a um, compliment. It's not out yet, is it? Or as in the... Uh... Hmm. Nice. Either way, that's awesome. See that. Because <laughs> nobody, why aren't I coming to the movie with you? When is it? Are you guys actually going to see it tonight? Because um, in that case, the real answer would be I'm not going because no one invited me. Jeez, guys. What did he even have done to him? See, no, I feel like that probably wasn't the wrong chat window, knowing you. Well, yeah, because if replicants, if you rat out another replicant, obviously it's like, hey, I'm not a replicant, look, that guy is. It's like rule number one. Well, maybe not number one. I'm sure there are other rules. But if you're a bit of a dick. And... If you guys are actually going to lose that, I'm going to be grumpy.
But if it is coming out... Uh, he did. He didn't... He wasn't at work for, like, the start of the week. But I didn't know what had happened to him. Sorry for all you people who aren't in this little circle of knowing what we're talking about. Um, Alright, actual questions. How long does it take to normally finish a game? Uh, eh, like something like this, it usually takes a couple of hours. If, it, if it's just a rough sketch sort of thing that I'm doing for personal fun. Big stuff, like big official work, can take me anywhere from like a couple of weeks. Especially for big illustrations, so that's always fun. Oh, yes, Six Foot Ewick. Uh, I saw that earlier and forgot to answer it. Uh, what games am I playing currently? Uh, I've mostly lately been playing uh, Hyperlight Drifter. That's been a lot of fun. Though I pretty much finished it last weekend. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to like try the, the New Game Plus stuff. It seems like there's not really enough to, um, to like make it different. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if I want to like just go through the whole thing again. Um, but I really like like the. The music, the gameplay was fun, like the world was really cool, I love the art. Um, so I had a really good time with it. I found all, uh, what are they, uh, 32 of the like little pulley things. I got all the weapons, so I sort of feel like I, even if I stop here, like it's a, not a, I completed it enough for my satisfaction. Uh, aside from that, lately, play a lot of heroes. Like, multiplayer-wise, I haven't been playing much much else. Um, bit of Hearthstone when I'm, like, more relaxing more. It's been a little while, but I played, um, uh, The Witness. I had a great time with, um, it's definitely one of my favorite games to have come out recently. Uh, again, like, so I, I got to, like, 95%, if not, no, more than that, like, 98%, I think, ish, and there, so I'm just not sure if I'm gonna have the time to go back and, um, like, finish those, find the last couple of puzzles on the island, but... Made you sad, but they added so much. Hearthstone nerfs made you sad, but they added so much good stuff. Just because you can't BGH anymore, it means you get to play all the cool big stuff. Um, uh, Darkest Dungeon. I I backed Darkest Dungeon, so I played it a bunch when the like the elf the beta first came out, and I really liked it. Um, but I haven't touched it for a while. I feel like I know that they've been, they've added a bunch more stuff to the game since then, so I should probably give it a give it a go again. Um, that was definitely really cool. Like the the art style in that, Chris did a great job with his art direction. Um, that yeah, that came out fantastically. Um, it's definitely something that I want to well, should probably dive into a little bit more again. Uh, oh, new art in, in Old Gods? Yeah, man, that's such inspiring stuff. It's really cool. Uh, I definitely like the way Hearthstone is sort of... It's not just the WoW TCG in a digital form. Like, they've, they've got their own personality, and I think it, it really comes across in, like, some of the silliness that they, ha they have, even in something, like, as creepy... Is the, the like Cthulhu uh, type stuff? Mm. 
Soul Searing series. Um, I have have not played any. I do like the art. Um, I am concerned. I'm sure I would like the gameplay. Um, I've watched a bit of it. Uh, I don't, just don't have a lot of time for games, so I haven't picked up anything like open. The last open world ish type, of, I mean, it's not open world. The last large, like, single player game, though, that I've tried to get through was The Witcher. Uh, and I'm really enjoying that, and I'm still only, like, not a heap of the way in, and it's been since, like, mid last year or whenever it came out. Um, like, I really liked that. And I was sort of still going back and forth on it, but I just, the time to commit to something like that. Uh, but yeah, like the art style is awesome. The, the environments are amazing. Bloodborne was exclusive to one of the consoles, right? To Xbox or PS? I guess 40 hours isn't, isn't crazy bad for, for like a, a decent game. And it, it's not like insane, like Skyrim level. And to answer that question, no, I've, I've never played Skyrim. Again, not that not that I don't like like that. Like, I don't know if I. It's been a long time since I've d dived into like a world like that. <laughs> uh, average about 80 hours. I mean, it depends on how you want to get into it, right? Um, yeah, I, I feel like I really should. Uh, I don't know if I should, like... Would it be okay to get into Dark Souls 3 not having played the other ones? Yeah, maybe I should maybe I should pick that one up then. That'd be cool. One and three.
Yeah, I mean the like the world of Dark Souls seems super interesting, for sure. Um, and I feel like like having not having played it obviously, but having seen what I have of it, it's um, I think it's interesting the way it's portrayed, like the the lore of it is portrayed in a a lot less a direct way than in like basically any other sort of series um Do I normally do the background before the characters? No, not at all. Normally I'm like drawing a back uh, character and then like shit, what are they, where are they standing? What are they doing? Uh, this is a very uh, unusual situation, honestly. <laughs> Will I be giving them an, um, a beauty mark? Yes, I guess I have to, don't I? Cutie mark, that's the one. Yeah, gotta... Hmm. Because really, it's not very pointy at the moment. Uh, but like, I wonder if I... Getting the skull in there is always tough without looking too obvious. Poor skulls are weird too. Just looks like Canvas size, um, how big to make a canvas size? Well, if you're not gonna print it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, for going up on the internet, um, you're not really needing anything bigger than, uh, bigger than like desktop size. Sam, hey, how's it going? Good to see you again. Um, yeah, you're not, you're not ever really needing anything bigger than desktop size. But, and this is a rule in, um, sort of a rule in traditional art as well, uh, when like working for print, if you're doing a painting or something, usually uh, you wanna be working at at least twice, um, twice your uh, like print size. So if you, if you were doing a painting that was gonna, gonna, gonna go in a book uh, and the size of it was like, three inches by three inches painting. Your your original painting would be at twice of that. Um, and so then it scales down and it looks quite nice in the um, in the book. 
And so I think if you're just working for digital, uh, I think on average, like this is this is pretty big ish for what I normally work at. I think I I wow, that's really big for what I normally. Uh, so th though this your pixels per inch is completely arbitrary if you're only ever working in digital. Like this can be. Um, if you do not have resample on, you have this is 11 inches wide, or if this is your pixels, this is your pixels. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, if you have resample off, changing the pixel does nothing because you're not going to res rescale it. Um, sorry, this image size thing in the new CC is new. Um, but yeah, so pixel, if you adjust, if you don't have resample on, so your inches, like if you're going to print this out, this would change, but viewing it digitally, you have no, there's no difference between like 300 DPI is standard print, um, resolution because like any, any higher than that, it's not really necessary for, for print. Um, and so normally I work at about that, but honestly, it's basically, um, I work anywhere between about 4,000 to 6,000 pixels on an average thing, and then bigger if it's like a fancy piece. And then 4,000 pixels is, you shrink it down 50%, uh, and that gives you basically, um, basically a desktop resolution which will mean your details will look nice, shrunk down, and it'll look like there's more detail there than there actually is, uh, which is which is always what you want, because you want to like shot, crispen up the details and make them a little smaller than than you painted them. You never want to blow anything up or whatever. Uh, that was probably a little, little rambling for a fairly straightforward thing, but it can be helpful. Um, but yeah, so like honestly that sizes in Photoshop are not not a huge thing for if you're not not working for print. Warcraft 3 cover art. Warcraft 3 uh, was. No, I'm not sure. Um, I can ask tomorrow, or Phil might know if Phil's still in chat. Um, I do not know who that, who did that. I do know that Brom did a couple of the original WoW covers, and he did the uh, Diablo cover. But aside from that, it could have been. Um, I mean, that was probably someone on cinematics. It could very well have, yeah, Justin, I was about to say, Justin, uh, Justin did a lot of that stuff. Hey, man. Photonic playground, sounds so fancy. David, good to see you. Yeah, that's what I, th I would I would have gotten to that answer eventually, but um, nice. Maybe I could be lying. I'm trying to make myself sound cool.
<laughs> North Bay. Uh, maybe one day. Yeah, I need to make it over there more often. I feel bad. <laughs> Fun LA meetings. Man, what's it LA me uh Alright, see you man. Favorite food from the cafe on campus. Uh they actually well I mean they always have some variation on a roast chicken. Uh and so that's what I usually get. Occasionally if they have salmon, I'll usually get that because it's it's decent is really healthier uh but yeah chicken like a half chicken uh is normally what i get but been trying to be better i've been trying to bring a sandwich to work more often Six foot. Uh, recordings of the artist stage at BlizzCon. No, I don't. Uh, they may somewhere somewhere have them, but I'm pretty sure they're just lost forever. Uh, which really sucks. I've been trying to get them. I will. I will push particularly hard this year uh, to at least get them recorded and maybe put out later, if not on the Directv stuff. Um, cause I, I get asked about that quite a lot and it's always such a shame to be like, eh, no, we don't bother doing that. Going to school at 730 here. <laughs> Alright, man. Good to see you. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know why they don't, I mean, I'm sure they, they've, they've got a lot of other stuff to be showing as well, but, like, there would be people who would be very interested in seeing the artist stage at BlizzCon. Uh, I mean, it's a super popular thing while people are there. Uh, yeah, I would try, definitely try and bring it up again this year. Uh, at the very least to have it recorded. I mean, maybe it's better just to have it recorded and put out later so you don't have to... I mean, the, the virtual ticket's usually worth it anyway with all the, like, the goodies and stuff you get and being able to watch the... watch the panels if you're not going to be able to be there because that's always cool, but... Um, yeah. We'll try and get it done.
Uh, so I'm curious. So what what games has everyone else been playing lately? I really have been sort of slack. I need to play. Uh, Samaros three just came out, and I really need to get onto that because uh, that's always amazing. This the Amanita's stuff is always super cool. Overwatch, man, I have not been playing it any overwatch i know i should like but it's so, it's so twitchy and so, i just it's so bad and the time it would take to get better at it is, is rough just wait till all the heroes are in all the overwatch characters are in heroes and then it'll be fine you'll just be able to play overwatch in heroes Seasonal Diablo, actually, that would be cool to get back into. We did that um, last season when they had the, the heroes mount. We were like, eh, we should do that. Me and my wife um, did that. Didn't do it. Didn't do enough, I think. Uh, I, it's it's cool. It's, I love the fact that they, they've had so much going on. Like, they've made so many improvements to that. Quavas, good to see you, man. Um, thanks for coming out. Coming out. Thanks for staying in and tuning in. Being on your computer or whatever you're on. Um, Um, Bliss is tough as usual, yeah. Hearthstone, because it's the only time I can, game I can make time for. The thing is, like, you feel like that. You're like, oh, Hearthstone games are quick. But really, they, they're not that quick. I'm always like, oh yeah, Hearthstone games like five minutes, right? No, it's like 15 minutes. Depends on what you're doing. I was playing freaking Reno Mage. So you're not going to be having quick games with that. Jimmy. God damn it, Jimmy. Uh, all right. All right. What's the question? Or do you just gen generally want you to ask a hard question? Hard, hard question? I don't even know what that would be. I have not played Rocket League. Um, uh, I know a bunch of people who do. It seems pretty cool. I'm generally bad, like, console games, or not necessarily console, but like games that in require a controller, I'm not great at. Uh, I didn't play a lot of console stuff growing up, so my console skills are a little lacking. How many lines of code in the first Photoshop? You know, that's one of the things where I should... I feel like I have read the answer to that in some, like, Adobe trivia thing. I don't care. Too many, probably, and they've kept too many of them, and they're trying to work around them still, which is why it's still terrible. I mean, I, I love Photoshop, don't get me wrong, but, man... If they made Photoshop today without having had to build on 20 years of versions, I feel like it would be a very different program. But I mean, that's with, that's with anything, right? Like, I feel like if we made Heroes today without having built on SC2, it would be a very different game, but we probably would never have made it. So, yeah. Like, I don't know. You're stuck. I guess you could do it on a mouse and keyboard. Makes sense.
The guy's here. Where are you? But thanks. <laughs> that's that's good. I I approve. That's nice. Man, if he did his statues with this, that would be amazing. There has to be at least one artist out there who paints in Photoshop with one of those, like, Gran Turismo steering, wheel, steering wheels, right? It has to happen. You guys are actually all at the movies, so I'm still gonna be annoyed. Um, I, th I have a feeling, I'm not sure about concept artist. I know that like Adam Hughes does all of his digital coloring with a mouse. Um, Alright, we're getting getting pretty close to done, I think. You have to record yourself doing an art test for wait so that's a uh, for blizzard uh oh sorry i missed the art test part um of that question and thought it was more general uh no you, <laughs> you just do it and you show them what you've done um, it's quite possible that someone did i mean in the old days like i'm sure a lot more people were used to just working with a mouse when when tablets weren't really as much of a thing <laughs> uh, but yeah your, your art test like I a lot of my art test uh, was I wonder if I can show that stuff I should ask um probably not going to use any of those concepts um a lot of my art, te art test was done traditionally like i had pages of sketches for my for my art test that were done uh, traditionally before i decided to settled on something that i then did digitally I think I'm gonna call this done. So, what do we need? So, normally, so at this point, I say, especially for something like this, I know it's a bit cheesy, but I usually do do a little bit of the old. Uh, 
aberration. Set my such. Oh shit, cutie muff. Fuck. Yeah, alright. Oh man, what are you. Xenomorph symbol. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, that's. I mean, it's not. It's not My Little Pony without that, right? Uh, let's do it. <laughs> what the Rick says? Are you guys still all at work? Fuck. What the hell? Uh, I know you can get banned for... God damn you guys. Yeah, alright. Thank you. See you guys later. Cutie mark, a cutie mark is uh, the thing that the My Little Ponies have. So initially, it's, it doesn't really look like it at this point, but initially this is supposed to be a, a My Little Pony type uh, xenomorph. It's not quite uh, stylized enough, I guess, to, act, to be super obvious. The only real thing, like, they got really chunky feet is about the only thing that's close to it. Because they couldn't even really do a horse, um... There's almost a horse skull in there, but it has got sharp pointy teeth, so it's not, is it? Sort of a little spirally tail thing. And it works. Right. Oh, hang on. No, I was going to do that. Let's make a way to that. Let's get some more.
Uh, Twitch videos are not saved forever. I actually don't have them set up to um to auto record because it mutes half my audio anyway because I have music playing in the background. Uh, but I will put them up on uh, YouTube, so you should be good. Um. Though I, I think there I think there is a different thing. Uh, linear dodge layer is for highlights. For so I, I always use that for either high. I mean it, it's like super shiny highlights um, or effect stuff. I always use linear dodge instead of screen. So this is my uh, highlight layer. It's got all the shiny stuff, and it has a, a glow on it too. So you get a little bit more of a pop. Uh, and the the glow is also uh, linear dodge the darker color so it's not too intense So, we can go back to here. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Can do that. Um, so, yeah. I, I will do a little bit of aberration on this just because I like the, like the sci fi. It's very much a sci fi -y type thing. I know it's pretty cheesy, but. <laughs> I think it's totally fine. Uh, aberration, it, it's the chromatic aberration, so it's like, you'll see it a bit, it's like this. It's like the oh your your fit fudging your channels, so you get like a bit of that. Um, it's almost like the three D ish look, where you got your multiple things, but um, uh, but yeah. So you, you can do it by ch playing around with these the ch in the channels. So if you, it doesn't work if you got layers, but if you've got a flat image, you can like. Uh, screw around with your your layers your channels so you, you get some can be interesting effects most the most common one is the the red channel so you, you adjust the your like blue red which is the traditional like 3d sort of look so it, it looks a little more like a photo sometimes no it looks a little more like a badly taken photo because uh, there that Photoshop is a whole lot of because normally a lot of p people will use the um, uh, it's the where is it lens correction apparently I can't do it currently oh probably because I'm only in one layer um, your lens correction there's actually like an entire thing to um, Uh, yeah, to to remove it, basically, it's it's in Photoshop. There's a uh, thing in Photoshop to like get rid of it if you it's, if it is in your photographs uh, unintentionally. But people have sort of taken to using it as a as a way of like um, so. Sometimes I'll, I'll do a little bit of this like after post treatment uh, so I'm just doing a little bit more lightning uh, 
Uh, but yeah, so this is about this is about finished. Let's do it. Yeah, there we go. It's not really that my little pony. Uh, but that's what we get. Uh, how long did I work on this one? I started about, it's about two hours. I started about nine, it's 7.40. Adoptables? No, we're, we're not getting it. We're not getting into that. Uh, is it a, a critique stream? As in critique of my stuff or other people's stuff? No. Um, but yeah, all right, this is done and the call done, post it up, YouTube video will be up in the next couple of days, uh, hopefully, I'll probably start uploading it tonight and then it'll be up tomorrow sometime. Um, yeah, thank you guys for coming out, uh, really good to have everyone show up, it's good to see some familiar faces, um, Yeah, and I'll, I'll see you guys. Probably won't. There probably won't be one in between now and Thursday. We've got a busy weekend coming up. Um, maybe, but yeah. Next Thursday, we'll see you guys then. Thank you very much, uh, and I'll see you guys later.